Hi everyone, I'm Devin Coombs, CPA, and today I'm going to go over the journal entry for supplies. So, on December 1st, 2019, Coombs Inc. purchases $1,000 of supplies for cash. As of December 31st, 2019, $500 of the supplies remained. And so, supplies is a current asset, so we're going to increase it with a debit. Assets have a debit normal balance, so the increase with a debit, so supplies is going to increase by $1,000 by debiting it, and then we're going to spend $1,000 cash for it. So our cash is an asset. Assets decrease with a credit because they have a debit normal balance. And so this is our initial journal entry on the payment of supplies. Where this can get tricky is now determining the expense, right? So supplies isn't going to be an expense immediately. We need to capitalize it, similar to prepaids in the previous prepaid, prepaid video. And that's because we need to match our expenses to the revenues they create via the matching principle. So this is an example of gap-based accounting instead of cash-based accounting. Right? In cash-based accounting, we would have expensed this, the supplies right away, but we're using gap, uh, generally accepted accounting principles. And so we have an expense accrual on December 31st, 2019 for the supplies remaining. Uh, or the supplies we used in the period. And so the way we determine that is just take the $500 of supply remaining uh, and subtract that from the $1,000 of supplies that we purchased, and that difference is $500. And so the $500 that we used in the period is going to be our expense, and that's gonna be a general min an administrative expense, and then we're going to reduce our supplies balance. And so this is going to get tricky. I'll have some multiple choice questions down the road, but it's not too complex. You're just going to always be determining the ending uh, the ending supplies balance. We and that's just from the company counting the amount of supplies, and then we'll be removing it from the amount of supplies we purchased in the period. If we have begin a beginning balance for supplies too, we'll take that into account. So I'll make a separate video where we do those calculations in a multiple choice style question. But know for this, we have two journal entries, right? The payment for supplies for cash, we debit supplies, credit cash, and then the expense accrual for the supplies used, and that's going to be an increase to expense, debit supplies expense, which will be a general and administrative expense for the $500 used, and then we're going to reduce our supplies balance. So our ending supplies balance for the period will be 500, that's 1,000 minus the 500. So first step, let's make sure our debits equal our credits. Well, our assets or supplies are 1,000 and our expenses are GNA 500, right? Expenses have a debit normal balance, assets have a debit normal balance, so we have $1,500 in debits. We decreased our cash because we spent it for the supplies by 1,000, and we decreased our supplies at the end of the period during our accrual by 500, so our debits equal our credits. We're okay on the T account front. Then let's go through the financial statements, income statement, statement of shareholders' equity, balance sheet, and then our statement of cash flow and then see the impact here. And so first impact is our general and administrative expense is going to go up by the $500. And so if you look at our previous videos where we're building these financial statements, this would have been $500 less than the previous videos. So we increase the expense, the general administrative expense by 500, which decreases our net income. And then that net income rolls into our retained earnings. So I bolded it here. So our net income has decreased, which then goes into our retained earnings, which decreases our ending balance of retained earnings on our statement of shareholders' equity. Common stock and APIC don't change. There hasn't been any other funding. Just our balance from our operations and retained earnings decreases bit by the net income. And so how does that impact the balance sheet? So our cash goes down by the 1,000 credit. We spent $1,000 in cash. Our ending supplies increases by 500 because we have $500 of supplies remaining. Our liabilities don't change, and in our equity, our retained earnings now is decreased and agrees to our statement of shareholders' equity. And so remember, what we have, our assets, equal what we owe and what we own. And so because our retained earnings decreased, uh, our assets have decreased because we've, we've used some of those supplies. We own less of those supplies through our equity, which were used in our operations. That's, that's how to read these financial statements. And then we'll just make sure that our assets equal liabilities plus equity. So if we add all this up, we get 24,450, 5,500 plus 18,950 equals this. And so we know that assets equal liabilities plus equity, so we're okay on that front. Lastly, we have our statement of cash flows. We're using the indirect method here. Please watch my statement of cash flows video for more details on the statement of cash flows. And so uh, what has changed in the statement of cash flows from these transactions? Well, our net income 
has decreased, and now we've had to reconcile it. So what else have we added to the statement of cash flows? Well, we've we've de it purchased supplies, right? We've purchased supplies. And because we've purchased supplies for cash, we've actually spent $500 more than is reflected in our net income. And so we have to reduce our operating activities by that uh, 500. And so that $1,000 cash spent is actually reflected in our net, ca net cash provided by operating activities. So in the previous video, we had $8,000 and now we've spent 1,000 on supplies. So that brings us back to our journal entry, right? That journal entry of $1,000 cash spent is going to be tied to this uh, reduction in the net cash flows by operating activities. Seeing that whole flow and watching all of these videos is really gonna help you understand how all these statements are put together and help your business, help your exams, help for your CPA, all, all the above. So really try to understand how these are changing. And then that will change your ending cash. And then we just check, do our, does our ending cash equal our balance sheet? 15,200, yep, 15,200. So the formulas are working right here. So ultimately, that's it for supplies. Those are the supplies journal entries. I'll make some more videos on multiple choice questions on how to approach it if there's a beginning balance. And then our next round of videos, we'll be going into other expenses like salaries expense, salaries payables, other payables as we build out these financial statements. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. And please write in the comments if you have any questions or if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Have a great day. Bye.